We're gamers, and our passion for games doesn't stop when the screen turns on. Wow, these drugs are nuts. Everywhere we what go. kid on a scooter is thinking about Centipede? With Game Band, the first smartwatch for gamers. What? Game Band Atari Edition puts the action right Is your smartphone your screen too big for games? Of classic <laughs> Atari games. But Game Band uh, hardware is far from retro. Are you sure? Band, we put an AMOLED display that's crystal clear. We put the Qualcomm Snapdragon 20. But how do you wow, play the game? That's games? a lot of cool sounding words. The Snapdragon Wear 2100 it takes on everything that you need to have in a wearables processor. It's 30% smaller than its predecessor. It's 25%. But I don't care if it's smaller than the predecessor. What predecessor? There is a predecessor? The result is one of the most powerful smartwatches in the world. And we didn't stop there. Game Where did you start? Upgradable micro SD storage. So you can carry your music, photos. So it's like a regular smartwatch, but you can also play asteroids? Is that what I'm getting out of this? It's all about the branding, slow beef. Computer and launch Pixel Furnace and play full PC. Wow, that's a much bigger screen than what you're probably actually playing it on. Oh, it's a computer. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, it's got a little micro SD. It's got a micro SD card that you can like carry your world with you. Carry things with you, like save files and shit. Cause there's no like internet or anything like that to store small files on. Or any other sort of portable device that you could play games on. No. To build a great smartwatch that you'll want while you're playing basketball. Every day. I've been designing wearables. For they they had another wearables thing before then. That you, I don't know. To design within, it needs to fit on the person and be comfortable. To Wait, so I'm sorry, I've been de de developing wear wearables and it needs to fit and be comfortable. Like, wow, you got step one down! You know how people who are way, way too into games love being active and going outdoors? <laughs> and becoming cartoons? Yeah. What? Sort of magical and mysterious wonderlands that we see in uh, How does this watch help you with what? That is not a p basketball pose. And this is a product made for me. Of course, it's a it's a full featured smartwatch, but it's more than that. As a storage. I don't know if it is. That's not a watch. Home or take it to another. It's like you have Terraria and then a bunch of Atari games though. Like gamer. For me. Wait, what is that? No brainer. From San Francisco. That's centipede, but it wouldn't work on a watch. To make Game Band reality. Now we need your support to get Game Band to production. Wow, it tells the time. Help us to bring Game Band to life. Okay. I don't. I'm just not following. But okay. Well, you're not following, but many other people are. This has made almost double its goal. With I watched the video before I saw that, and this this kind of blew me away. Yeah. Over a month ago, still. Like, it's... I, I I really feel like I'm missing something. Like, what is so great about the game band that I'm not seeing? Because I have a smartwatch, you know? I Like, I have one, like work got me one. And do you play games on it literally all the time? No, because the screen is goddamn tiny. What? I, I mean, I'm sorry, but, like, yeah, that little, like, thing you rotate and click in, like, it's not a good controller. You just play it on the phone that you're carrying that the smartwatch needs to Bluetooth connect to anyway. Look, do a Let's Play of Terraria using your smartwatch, and then we'll talk again. You can't, though. You can't. It's restoring <laughs> the world of Terraria on your watch. I'll have you know this watch has been seen on Yahoo, Rolling Stone, PC Magazine, The Daily Dot, Ian Gadget. The most powerful smartwatch on the market. Why? How do, how do they know that? It's, it's not available yet, right? And oh yeah, and not only that, but like, if it is so powerful, like how's, how does that affect the battery life then? Gamers deserve a smartwatch of their own. S who said that? Uh, VentureBeat. They do? We do? What? According to the Daily Dot, it's the best thing to come out of wearables. Like, was this made before smartwatches ever existed? Because that's kind of what it seems like with these reactions. I don't understand it at all, though. It's like, um... Like, how much would you play a game on this before you were like, wow, that's kind of annoying, I should stop. Built specifically for people who love to game. But then you swipe it and it's like, do you want to make phone calls or music or play... Do you want to do things that normal smartwatches do? Yeah, like, it's not... There's not anything there that's specific to, like, except for story or Terraria files here. I think the retro fetishists saw, like, the Atari band and were like, yes! Okay, but I like retro shit like that. It still doesn't make any... All right. No, that makes up for literally everything. You can play Pong on it, Slow Beef.
Game Band Atari comes in Atari Red with a variety of straps. I'm kind of amazed too that they got like they got the license to do all that stuff, right? Or yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's Pong, I guess. And also, like, it was funny when they were showing off Pong, like, it wasn't really clear how you were playing it at all. Like, it was just playing by itself. When you swipe, it moves your... We are working with Terraria on an exclusive minigame version. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mini, mini game. Mini, 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 mini. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Very mini. Yeah. The, there's a micro SD slot to store things, which I still don't get it. Like, what does this offer you that... Because anybody who has th- this will have a smartphone already. I don't. I don't think you even needed to continue that. You could have just stopped it. What does this <laughs> offer you? Like app shipping with the game band, calendar, contacts, phone dialer, weather alarm, Alexa, music player. <laughs> but that's already on your smartphone. Why do you need the dialer from the phone? It's easier to just dial it on the phone. Damn it. There's clips of people transferring games from their, or a GIF of transferring games from your laptop to your watch. Like, like bring your laptop if you want to play games that badly on the go. Hey, by the way, um, do you have a smartwatch or a wearable or anything? I do not. I have, I have an, I have two Apple watches. Work got me. Oh. And you know, you know, well, I mean, you know what? Um, my favorite part is a watch you have to charge like every day. <laughs> That's yeah. my favorite thing about it. Does it say anything about battery life on this? It doesn't. I'm. It, that's where that's when they're like it's the most like powerful watch and it's like ah that kind of makes me think because that is the most annoying part of it like now here's the thing uh, people use devices like Game Band in so many different ways that it is almost impossible to say that battery will last X days but days oh my god that's what we can say is that the battery we've included is in the upper end of what you normally see in smartwatches and together with Qualcomm and our ODM we will continually look for ways to extend battery life it does not have a good battery life is what this is saying. Look at that. If all you do is play mini games, don't expect to get through the day. It's the gaming watch. That's (laughs) your whole point. Don't go diving or taking a shower. Well, why did you bring up that point then? Take some basketball breaks while you're playing games on your watch. This is just, this is disclaimers. I was gonna say, like, (laughs) but like, it's 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 weird. Like, why would you do that anyway? That is um. We do not have a heart rate monitor or GPS built in. We don't play games with your health. No, of course not. GPS you could. There's fun shit you could do with all that AR stuff, right? No? All right. No, just centipede. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Trademarks and IP. We've tried to respect everything we need to legally herein. What kind of legal disclaimer is that? You know, we gave it the old college try. I mean, I hope I didn't violate any <laughs> copyright. Like, what? <laughs> we probably did enough. <laughs> is that, like, the legal definition of, like, no backsies? Like, what is going on there? Like, I'd like to sue them, but they said they tried their hardest. <laughs> they seem like such good guys. <laughs> Holy God. Jeez. I don't understand, too. There's, in the risks and challenges, we've taken a lot of steps. Experience? Durability, micro SD, production focus. Like, wh- why did you sneak micro SD into those <laughs> list of qualities? It seems like a good buzzword. Yeah, I I don't know. It's the pledge goals are all like pretty. Oh, for twenty five bucks, you get a T shirt. You get an Atari T shirt. All right then. Twenty five dollars, you get a, a Terraria T shirt. Yep, and then it's hundred fifty for the early bird editions. Kickstarter specials. Uh, I guess this thing is going to be about 180 bucks, which actually isn't too bad. Then for... Worth it to play games for an hour before your watch dies? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, just don't do it all the time, you know? Right. Or, or ever. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <sighs> I still have some faith in humanity that nobody pledged the $7,000 super disty pack. How many watches do you get with that? Choose any 50. 50? 50 watches. It's because you can sell the watches. Hello, class. I have a very unconventional method of teaching. <laughs> we are going to learn about video games for the next 40 minutes. If, you're, if your wrists get really hot, please take off the game. Mm, please. Also, don't use the watch too much during class or it may not last the hour. I am, I am, I'm impressed in a way that they, they did this, you know? Well. Oh, wait a second. What's this under the updates? Oh. I'm taking I'm taking a risk 
uh, let's see here. Um, the elephant in the room log post. A few folks have brought it up. We promised to post about it. What is it? We lo- we loved Pebble and are heartbreaking to see them go. So Pebble was like a different kind of smartwatch deal. They inspired us. Um, the elephant in the room. Oh, so they're worried that like Pebble, even though it made its goal, like ended up whatever. They pulled out or something? I guess so. And that might change the whole thing? Well, I guess so. They're like, I guess it's basically like, if anyone's not confident that we'll deliver, trust us, we'll deliver. That's really it. That's the whole oh. thing. Oh, well, okay. No, I'm there was a. Re- I'm convinced. <laughs> There's a really long post about that, too. It's like, all right, it's fine. You're not the same. <laughs> oh, my God. Funded in less than a day! People love Pong and Asteroids, I guess. How? What if I could play that anywhere? Less than a day. Impressive. <laughs> you win. You win, Gamer Watch. I don't, I don't know the market. Like, how long would people use this before probably getting sick of the playing games part of it? Just be like, oh, what time is it? I don't really want No, you know what? I'm, I get, we're renaming the channel Gamer Channel. Okay. That's it. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yes. I'm Gamer Beef. See you later. Hey, Soul Beef, can you give me the Gamer Time? Gamer Beef. Gamer, gamer beef. beef. What Gamer Time is it? It's Gamer Clock. Always. Means, for the, means we're going to play video games for the next 40 minutes or so. I got a game. Then, then I, then I, then I got to read. Then I got to recharge my gaming watch. Mm-hmm.